I'd like to say we're uh, very sad about losing one of the great Raiders and great people that I've met, Willie Brown. And our heart is really torn up, man. This is this one great guy, great player. One of the reasons I came back to coach was to be with Willie Brown. So our uh, condolences go to his family and all the Raider players that, that played with him and knew him. Um, I'm sure they share in our grief. Um, God bless Willie Brown. But uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. We're anxious to finish this road trip. It's been a lot of fun. You know, this schedule that we have here. Um, be a great challenge here with the Texans, another playoff team in a hostile environment. Uh, I'll answer any questions I can. I thought he looked pretty good. I mean, he's still questionable. We'll see. I'll give him one more day to go out there and test that foot. Trent Brown was limited on the practice field. Josh Jacobs did not practice. Gabe uh, Jackson did not practice. Rodney Hudson was out today. So uh, we're in the process of uh, seeing who's available and who needs to step up. Jacobs just a deal of monitoring, backing him down, or was, there, was the shoulder a problem? When you brought that up yesterday, Jerry, we decided to arrest him. <laughs> You're the one I was wondering. No, he hurt his shoulder. He's got a legitimate shoulder. He got uh, hurt on uh, the Green Bay game, had it shot up. He's still very sore, and we'll list him as questionable for the game. Uh, with uh, with Gabe and Rodney, are those just uh, getting those guys some rest, or are they dealing with things? Oh, well, they're dealing with stuff, you know. Gabe is, uh, you know, not only did he come back and play, he played the whole game, played really good. But uh, he's got some swelling in there, he's sore. Rodney's got a foot ailment, he's sore. so. I don't know. We have an MRI machine uh, in our, we purchased our own MRI machine, so at least we can find out. What do you like about the defensive end that you guys signed? Yeah, we signed Kasim Adebali, uh, obviously with uh, Cleve Farrell, who, who missed uh, the game a couple weeks ago and Arden Key out. You know, Adebali's played pretty good for a couple different teams. We got some pass rush to him. He's a really good, hardworking kid, so we're happy to have him. John, what, what have you gotten out of Malin so far in these first six games out of the Well, you know, if you've watched the tape, you know he's not playing defensive end very much. He's playing inside more than outside. Part of that is out of necessity. We hope at some point to um, you know, get him some more snaps at defensive end. But uh, he's doing pretty good. He's a good run defender. And uh, hopefully we can get him some more at-bats rushing the passer. But I know a lot of the statisticians are just looking for sacks. But he's done a lot more than uh, just have one sack. How about uh, one of the other many rookies who comes in, Hunter Renfro? Uh, he kind of talks about how stats don't always tell the story. What about Hunter have you seen in terms of growth? So great. Right here? I love the guy. I mean, he's um, he's running good routes. He's a very good blocker. It's really important to him. He plays mistake-free football. And he's not playing an easy position. Uh, I'm really proud of him. I like our Clemson Tigers. Trayvon Mullen's going to get a chance this week. I know those guys are looking forward to competing with DeAndre Hopkins and Deshaun Watson. I'm sure Dabo Sweeney is a proud man. So, how different of a challenge is Watson than Rodgers? Well, you know, he's a similar challenge in that he's um, got a lot of freedom at the line of scrimmage, fixed plays. He's a great athlete. He can escape. He can run for touchdowns, not just first downs. He's um, throwing the ball better than he's throwing it at any point in his career. And um, they're using a lot of different receivers. I know Hopkins and Fuller have caught a lot of passes, but they're using every eligible receiver, and they've got a good running game. And they have a lot to prepare for. Bill O'Brien's a great coach. What do you think Mullen's going to be finding mentally to an increase in his, his workload? And what's gonna be I think he's going to be fine. I do. He's going to be challenged. I know that. But I think his uh, makeup uh, is, is perfect. And I think he's very confident. Well prepared kid. We'll see what happens. Long way down the road to the end of the season. Do these games take on more importance knowing that it could be a tiebreaker type of situation with Houston? Yeah, I don't, you know, they're all important. I try not to get into the playoff hype right now. We're more interested in making the corrections from last week and finding a way to win another game against a good team. Well, and obviously, you got uh, a little bit of uh, experience at the one when Conley went out with the net. Where have you seen him improve from then to, to 
Well, he's played. It's not like he hasn't been on the field since that moment. He has been in every game, and uh, he's played better. Um, he's prepared himself, I think, better. He's healthy now. He's remember he was hurt in training camp for a while, but uh, I'm not going to make any predictions. We'll get what we deserve at every position, including corner. I know he's going to be tested, and I'm anxious to see him compete. Aside from uh, losing Willie. Before the last home game, they did a memoriam, and the amount of Raiders that have passed away in the last several months is just staggering. The branch and around. How difficult a time is this for the organization right now? It's been now? hard, you know. It's been hard, especially for you know Mark Davis and his his mom that you know grew up with these guys. I mean, these are legendary players and great people, and uh, it's hard to swallow losing Cliff, certainly losing Willie, and as you mentioned, several of the other men that we have lost but that's life none of us are uh, none of us are guaranteed uh, the next day that's why you, you, you live for the moment and uh, pay your respects the best way that you can.